Welcome back. This, this is Popeye. I'm your host. The show is called Down the Rabbit Hole. We're on from 5 to 7 every Sunday on the Orion Talk Radio Network. Please tune in because every week I promise to bring you more and more information that is, you know, very important. And it's when I say very important, it's not, oh, you know, entertaining. I don't talk about uh, Britney Spears' underwear or Paris Hilton or Lindsay Lohan. I talk about important things like uh, mind control technology being used on the populace against our will and uh, uh, unknown to many people. Uh, or I should say, not not only against our will, but without our consent. Uh, you know, the military, the police state, everything. It's important that you pay attention and listen to the radio show, and not only mine, but you also should tune in uh, from three to five to listen to Against the Wall with JJ Inc. Uh, I co-host with JJ, and uh, from seven to nine uh, on this radio network is um, John Preston. Tune into John Preston show. You should tune into all the Orion Radio Network shows. Okay, listen to everything the Orion Talk Radio Network has to offer. You know, uh, there's no censorship. We give you real news, very very important information, and you know, th- we don't. Th- none of the DJs, none of the hosts, whatever you want to call us, none of us get paid. We all do this voluntarily. We all give up our own free time to do this. The owner of the station pays for everything out of his pocket. You know, he puts up his free time. Jimmy X does, has his own show. So, you know, tune into the, the different hosts on the channel. Uh, you don't have to agree with everything everybody says, but, you know, at least give everybody a chance. You know, if you don't like them, then don't tune back in. If you like them, tune back in. All right. That being said, I want to get back in. <clears throat> uh, before I get back to Brian really quick, uh, whoever we, – we were having – problems with our phone lines but i think i've worked the kinks out here with skype on my end so the six seven eight caller who called in if you want to call back and you want to call into the show feel free and uh i think i should be able to patch you in without a problem all right um brian you were before winter break you were talking about uh you know your investigations into harp and uh during the break you were telling me that a lot of these tornado outbreaks and stuff are like completely unprecedented what's going on. So uh, tell me what, what you've discovered and you know what you yourself have found out. Well, it's, it's just that uh, whenever I was hearing on the news about the, all these tornado outbreaks that my own state in the state next to me, uh, you know, uh, Virginia, they were all declaring a state of emergency and, I had no idea that all these tornadoes were going around. And when I found out about that, it said it was, uh, un- I guess it was either, I think they said it was record breaking. So I thought that was a little odd because all of a sudden there's these record breaks of tornadoes and and now it's like everything's fine. There's not all these uh, record breaking tornadoes. So I've checked the data on HARP's website on their uh, it's a certain mag- uh, magnetometer. I think it's called the introduction magnetometer. I went on there and I took a look at the dates that were not censored, and I noticed that there was there was magnetic activity. So why would there be all this magnetic activity right around when there's the tornadoes? So, and I even had a page on my website about this. It's not a post. It's actually a, a page and everything because... Because I like I like to at least track all of the natural or unnatural disasters and compare them with the HARPS data, because it just seems a little weird. Uh, because uh, it, anybody who's a scientist and knows about magnetic, the magnetic uh, things of uh, the. Shoot. All right. I know what you Anyone mean, the magnetosphere and the, the ionosphere. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. Anybody that knows that stuff could, could, will see the information and realize that there's something going on. You know, anybody with half a brain and understands basic science. Mm-hmm. So anyways, I know that heart bounces uh, sound frequencies uh, on the ionosphere. They bounce frequencies, and so wherever they bounce them to, it's hard to know what effects it could cause. And so, whatever they're doing, whatever it, it hits the ionosphere and then it, it it bounces off. That's how they can energize and cause earthquakes in certain parts of the world because they can literally hit something and mm. it, you know reflect it off the ionosphere and have it come back down and, and hit mm. a certain part of the planet. 
So it's kind of like a Star Wars great weapon because with these frequencies, they could cause uh, certain events to happen in places of the world. And and so, I mean, I've I've messed with sound frequencies. I know how the how they can affect the body. Like certain frequencies can help the body, and certain frequencies. Uh, hurt the body and when you think about it if you think that the earth is like a human body and you're you're bouncing frequencies into the earth or on the earth uh, when you use sound frequencies it can affect the earth depending on what frequency you use and how how high is the amplitude now so um Huh, that's got... creepy. That that's that. Just knowing that the technology exists is creepy, and then knowing that these evil scumbags in power uh, have the technology is even creepier. Hang on a sec. <clears throat> Hang on a sec, Brian. We got a caller. Uh, caller, you're live. Yes, sir. This is uh, who you might know as Witness I. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey, how are you? How's it going? Oh well, uh, I guess as good as it could be. <laughs> what's the uh, what's, what's the latest uh, what's the latest news you got? Because I uh, I always uh, I always I retweet a lot of the stuff that you, you, you I follow you on Twitter and you always tweet some really good stuff. In fact, a lot of times I I, I end up finding good in, good articles from your your tweet references and I end up using them on a uh, federal jack. Well, awesome! That's great news. Uh, my big day hard I have for years. Uh, I had no idea what trouble we were in, um, but. I can tell you for many, many, many years, uh, we've had a lot of trouble with a bunch of damn liars, okay? Uh, that's a, one of the damn problems is people are so willing to just lie. It's so easy. And, uh, and I'm just being honest. Uh, that's been a big trouble for me in my life. I've never understood it. And if you can't face up to the, you can't face the truth, don't open your mouth. That's kind of the way I feel, you know? Very so anyway, true. Uh, the, the big thing for me, I don't know if you've looked this up or not, but I have, and I, I'd like to double, I'd like to, again, double check the time that the earthquake actually occurred, uh, the first one over there, um, you know, in Japan that affected Fukushima. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, was it 246? It was some. It was like two forty six or two forty seven in the afternoon. It was right around. It was right before like three o'clock when the earthquake hit. I'd have to. I'd have to go back and check the records to see what the exact time was. But it was somewhere around there. That's what I thought. Now, um, I'm, I'm assuming that I have free reign to say whatever I want. This is First Amendment rights we're talking about here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could totally talk about harp and the Japan earthquake being talked about. You know, being caused by harp. Go ahead. Did you ever go and look up the Illuminati card game again? Yeah, it's very creepy. The the, the Illuminati card game made uh, for the listeners that don't know what uh, the caller is talking about. He's talking about the Illuminati card game made by Steve Jackson Games uh, back in the 90s. Go look it up. It's really creepy. Yes, it is. And the, the weird thing, well, there's several weird things. That's the entire game. The premise is ridiculous, you know, and I can't even imagine enjoying playing a, a game like that. But... Uh, looking at the cards, you kind of get an insight into the like the mind's eye of these crazy globalist Bohemian Grovers. <laughs> you get to see kind of uh, how they how they think in a way. And uh, with that, you see the twin, you know, see you see the twin towers on one of the cards. In the next card, it's got the Pentagon being hit. Then it's got you know, but uh, whatever they call uh, it's the multiple disaster card. Um, I went online and looked at the. There was two names for this clock tower that were that, that's on this uh, card. And, I mean, it looks exactly the same. It looks like a drawn rendition of this uh, Waco, a KO clock tower. There's also another name. It starts with a G. I can't remember uh, Waco name. is easy. I can't remember the name of the clock tower that's in Tokyo that's very famous. But if you look on the card and you look at the time... It's on that clock. It freaked me out, okay? I had a hunch. I just had this feeling that I needed to Let me guess it says 9-11. Well, no. It was 246, 247. Oh, that's and even creepier. Was, yeah, and it shows people. It's a rendition of an oriental kind of looking 
group of people running away from the tower at that time. And I didn't know if you had a chance to check that out or not. I didn't know if you got that on, on any of my phone. But uh, I think well, I haven't watched it yet. I appreciate you calling in and telling me about it. We're uh, going to break. Guys, we'll be right back. You're listening to Down the Rabbit Hole. I'm your host, Popeye, from federaljack.com. We're going to pay the bills. We'll be right back. This is the Orion Talk Radio Network. 